Google App Engine using the data store with JDO. Hi, my name is Linda and I will talk to you about Google App Engine and how to use data store. In this tutorial, we will see what is the data store, what is the persistent manager, and how to store and query data in the data store. Let's talk about the data store. Google App Engine provides a powerful distributed data storage service that features a query engine and transactions. The data store stores objects or entities instead of rows or records, which means that our Java object can be stored in this data store. Data store entities are schemaless, which means that we don't have to design any schema for our data store. Instead, we need to design the objects we want to keep in the data store. The data store, as any other database, is strongly consistent and uses optimistic concurrency control. In order to interact with the data store, you use a persistent manager object, which can be obtained from a persistence manager factory. The persistent manager is an object responsible for storing and querying the data and make it available to the web application. This persistent manager actually is the bridge between our web application and the data store in the data store service. JDO allows us to store Java objects in any data store with a JDO compliant adapter. You tell JDO how to store and reconstruct instances of your classes using Java annotation. In this way, we let the JDO compliant adapter to manage the objects in a way uh, that the data store can keep these objects. And we just have to indicate which fields do we want to store, which is our primary key, and of course, which entities or instances we want to keep there in the data store. In order to retrieve objects from the data store, we use the JDO QL. The JDO standard defines a mechanism for querying persistent objects called JDO QL, an SQL-like query language for retrieving data objects. When we need to search for some objects in the data store, we create these query sentences, which are executed against the data store, so we can retrieve the objects. What do we need to start using JDO in our web app engine applications? We need to set up the environment. We need a JDO config XML file, which is the configuration file for the data store. This file, it's an XML file that resides in within the web application. If we are using Eclipse and Google Web Toolkit plugin, this file is already there for us. If we are using something else, we need to create it manually in this path. WebIM classes MetaInf. So now we will see how JDO and the data store work with our guestbook application. We already have this application and we want to implement uh, the data store within it. We will uh, store the messages that are left in the guestbook. The first file I want to show you is the JDO config XML file. This file was already in place for us uh, because we are using the Google Web Tool plugin for clips. This has the basic information to access the data store. The second file I want you to see is the greeting class. This class is the POJO class, which has the primary key, the user that sent the message, the message, the content, and the date the message was posted. So we annotate this class for the persistent manager, so it can know which data we want to store in the data store. The rest of the class is just the constructor and the regular getters and setters methods. Another important class that we need to create is the persistent manager factory. We only need one factory for our web application, so we implement this class using the singleton pattern. So we declare a static variable 
which will create the persistent manager factory to the JDO helper class. Uh, we develop a get method so the uh, classes in our web application can access this persistent manager factory and create a persistent manager object. Finally, let's see what we need to change in the JSP file in order to retrieve the messages that are already stored in the data store. So the first thing we need to do is to create a persistent manager. Again, we do this through the persistent manager factory that will give us a persistent manager object. We create a query. In this case, we will select all the instances of the greeting class. And this is a JDOQL sentence, which will help us to retrieve the objects that are already stored in the data store. We uh, create a new query object with this query sentence and execute that, that query against the data store. So we obtain a list of greeting objects, which we want to display in the web application. So if the greeting list, the greetings list is empty, we will just say that there are no messages in the guestbook. But if there are messages, we will uh, iterate through those messages and obtain the, the author of the message. If the author doesn't ex exist or is null, uh, we will just say that, the, that an, an anonymous person wrote the message. Uh, if we have an author, then we will get his or her nickname and we will display the content, which is the message that was stored in the data store. Now that we change our application, let's see how the users can send message and read the message that other people have posted to the web application. So I will run this as a web application. I will wait for the server to start and I will try the application in the browser. So I'm seeing the guestbook that we don't have any message at all. So this message will be the first message I will send. So if I'm not signed in, there will be no user associated with this message. So it only says an anonymous person wrote hi there. But if I sign in, I'm redirect to the login page. And then I can send a message from a particular user. So it says the nickname of the user and the message. We could also try this application if we deployed it in the app engine. So we will deploy it to the cloud. And we will check how the application is So I'm checking the application now. I don't have any messages so far. So again, I will post a message anonymously to the web application. But if I sign in, this time I will be redirect to the Google account login page. So I need to sign with a valid Google account. So I can send a message with my user. So it says now my nickname and the messages I've sent. In this tutorial, we saw what is the data store, what are JDO annotations, and how to store and query data in the data store. Thank you. Goodbye.